this video I'm excited to post because I was able to be part of something that was I think amazing. Um, we hosted at our office at the Ideal Foundry the Sight Savers America event um, for children that are visually impaired, low vision and blind to provide um, assistive technology that families and the children would normally wouldn't be able to afford. It's the very first time being here in Columbus. It took a lot of work, many, many, many months of raising money, sending invitations to different corporations and organizations in our community to come and check it out. So that way we can make this more of a sustainable event every year after this first year. A lot of hard work with Ohio State School for the Blind, with Dr. Hopkins, my physician, um, just everybody coming together to make this happen. We were able to um, help and provide training um, for 12 children and they were able to walk home with those products. So I'm just blessed. I love, this is what I live for. This is what I work to, that's the type of work I want to do. I want to serve others. I want to help others. That's what my return on investment is. That's what I that, that's what motivates me. So media did come out um, to highlight the event and that's great because we want more people in our community to know that we're here. Um, just because you're visually impaired, legally blind, low vision, totally blind, does not mean you're not part of your community and should not take your life with gusto and, and, and participate. And for the news media to come out and highlight that, that we actually are a group of, of people, of community that really do help each other and want to be inclusive is amazing. So the clip after this, I did record the snippet from Channel 6 and I hope you guys enjoy and no matter what your passion is, do it. Nothing's impossible. And the word impossible, a quote from Aubrey Hepburn, it's the words, I'm possible. Just remember that. Love you guys. Bye. The Ohio State School for the Blind got some life-changing vision equipment. ABC6's Maria Durant was there for this incredible reaction. This is really cool technology, allowing the visually impaired to see and do things that you and I may take for granted. 15-year-old Peggy Philbrick is legally blind. But I put that on you so now you can see what it looks like, right? Yeah. With this new equipment, Peggy can easily see the microphone, and with a little zooming in, she can even read the brand. That's like Sony. Or Sony. That's right. I said Sony with the heck. Peggy is one of 12 kids at the Ohio School for the Blind receiving this life-changing technology. Cameras magnify what the children want to see, and in Peggy's case, she no longer has to have the objects close to her face to view. It's hard to really put it into words. But when you have a child that does have a vision impairment, you know, vision is a really big thing. And for them to be able to see, it means everything. For 10-year-old Brandon, it means just being able to be a child. All right. The high-tech vision aids are donated by Sight Savers America. The children and parents were trained on how to use them. And for the kids, it was just a matter of remembering that they didn't need to put the object so close to their eyes anymore to see, just under the lens. But by the time we sat down with you, I'm worried about it. And he goes and finds it on the screen and then just touches it on the toy, just like I was hoping it would. The incredible technology is also being used to help teach visually impaired musicians to read. The technology magnifies the music notes up to 10 times the original size. While this may be music to the ears, it's a sight these parents never dreamed could happen. Each vision aid runs more than $3,000, but today, it's theirs for free. It's truly wonderful. I mean, you know, it's, it makes me want to cry. You know, I'm trying not to, but it's, it's amazing. No longer does her daughter have to read like this. <laughs> it's a vision her mother will cherish. In Franklinton, I'm Maria Durant, ABC 6 News. It's going to take a little getting used to it.